the Harpo Navy. Really, guys? Really? Did we really have to have this much focus on the Harpo Navy in this chapter of One Piece? Like, I'm looking here at Sai and all that. It's like, oh, you know, Sai of the Harpo Navy. And it's like, okay, you know, maybe you might have some little interesting stuff going on in this chapter. But it's like, really? <laughs> Was it really supposed to be a whole dedicated to the fucking Harpo Navy? So we, like, had a little bit of this chapter to start off with, like, Zoro and, like, King Elizabeth saying, oh, yes, I'm getting ready with my king punch and all that. I'm an old friend. I'm going to help him. And Zoro's, like, pretty much saying, yeah, fuck off. I'm still fighting him. And he's like, okay. Okay, I'll do something else then. And the rest of the chapter was dedicated to Dong Jing Zhao versus Lao Ji. And he's like, oh, I'm the pain of an undying warrior. And it's like, you know, the more that you feel pain, the more strongly that you get and all that. It's like this crazy ass fucking stupid old man. Shut the fuck up and just go down already. You look like you're going to die any second. I'm not going to lie. What this chapter did do, if it didn't take out the way of like, seriousness and like kind of like actually like, more it one thing it did do was progression and it actually did give me a few laughs and all that in this chapter like you guys see like Laoji he was like literally dying and all that it's like he physically was like saying oh I'm gonna fuck you up and stuff like that and then his spirit just starts escaping him and it's like oh no Laoji be careful you're dying and it's like he's like oh come back what are you saying you whippersnappers like that and it's like the whole thing with like freaking like baby five being in love with like Sai from like the Harpo Navy and stuff and saying you know Oh, oh god you know it, um if you want to do anything i say then oh, i kill yourself and this was honestly the best part of the chapter and this was finding out about baby fly's backstory like finding out that you know throughout pretty much the entirety of her birth and she's just wanted to be you know find some be used for something it was saying like you know like to be you know wanted or something because you know when she was born it's like oh why did you give birth to her she's useless she eats too damn much and her own mother pretty much just abandoned her and say, you know, a useless person like you is, like, one that is not needed. And I was like, Jesus Christ. And she was, like, now they're ready to, like, blow her freaking head off just the size. Like, she will do anything. Like, and that's probably why, like, she's probably gone over to, like, Don Flamingo's side. It's like, oh, if I go to him, I'll always be needed. I'll always need to do something like that. And it's like, God damn, I, can't, I couldn't help but feel really bad. I thought this was the best part of the chapter, seeing, like, Baby Thigh's backstory. And it was like, he was like, stop it, you foolish woman. It's like, Dong Jin Zhao was like, oh, both of you are fools and all that. And it's like, you bring shade to the Harpo Navy. And he literally brings out his big fucking Patrick Starfish head. And he's like, like, trying to smash him. And, like, literally, I was surprised that he was actually able to bring him out. Like, with just, like, his foot and all that. And actually smashed his fucking head. And I was like... God damn, when I saw his head, I was like, Jesus Christ, it was like, it was bent that way, it was like bent in a 90 degree angle, I was like, Jesus, I'm pretty sure that's not how the brain's supposed to work, but Jesus fucking Christ, that looks painful, he's like the head, and like crying as well, I'm like, I feel for you, your fucking head is cracked and all that, it's like literally like, it looks like a flagpole right now, it's like, he's like, and instead of like actually thinking like, oh you fucking little whippersnapper and all that, it's like, yo, I'm proud of you and all that, it's like, you broke this drill of mine and all that, it's like, you know, I'm the leader of the Harpo Navy and you know, you have the title of, you know, Kiliu Kili Kugi or something like that, it's like a fit, like a leg that can break all continents and all that, and it's like, yeah, then we saw like Lao Ji like take, um, there's a big muscly form and you know, like, like literally he got taken out he's like oh yeah if i beat this um, guy i'll marry you and stuff and uh, make my wife and it was like ah, it's just comedy and stuff like that but honestly the best honestly part of this chapter and all that i would say is that you know one we had progression you know laoji has been defeated and baby five as well has been well she lost as well through love pretty much so that's two more of the executives down and all that and to be honest i'm glad that you know oda suddenly realized yeah we don't want these guys in the story like let's just get them out of the house shitty anyway baby five well she's awesome and all that but it's like she wasn't gonna put up much of the serious fight for, to begin with and it's like yeah we just gotta take care of like all these other guys as well and it's like i just want to see the end of the pe uh, peak of eyes like come on let's get that done i'm tired of like just seeing little pages here and there of them fighting that needs to be done now diamante yeah i really want to see that fight that's like the one i'm looking for and you know not to mention we still have other you know awesome characters as well you know we had dellinger as well to take care of it as well like we've already had sugar to feed so we've already had quite a handful of the executives defeated already. We've already had about around about four of them defeated. So yeah, we've had like Sugar, Mark Vice, Lao Ji, uh, Baby Thigh. So yeah, the only ones that we've really got left is Diamante and like Dellinger and like and maybe a few ha handles of others. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to that. But it's like, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. I, I thought this chapter was fine in a way. It was just like nothing really too like um, 
good and all that, but it's like, it, yeah, it did lead with a little progression, so I'm going to give this a five and a half. It was average, but it actually did some really good stuff in there, and it did make me laugh here. So, yeah, that's it for me, so thank you very much for watching. As always, remember, I'll see you guys next time.